Growing up and living as a vampire in the 21st century can be a bit of a challenge. I was a 90s kid, you see, uh, the original 90s, that is, back in the first century now. <laughs> good old days. I'm telling you, kids of today with all their electricity and flushing toilets and supermarkets, like, pfft, didn't have none of that back in my day. Anyway, if you find yourself struggling to adapt like I did, then look no further as I have created the answer to all of your problems. The Modern Vampire's Guidebook, Volume 1. Worried your friends might freak out when they discover how you sleep? Worry no more. There are some great companies that make coffins that look exactly like beds. And fully functional as both. Fangs are a very noticeable characteristic. If they're bothering you cosmetically, then I've found that you can file them down when you're cleaning your teeth in the morning. It doesn't hurt much. It's just like having a root canal without the anaesthetic. <laughs> and take note that they will grow back by midnight so it's going to be an everyday thing. Contrary to popular belief, we don't sparkle in the sunlight, we burn. So try to stay out of it as much as you possibly can. Be prepared for the strange looks that people are going to give you when you try to tell them your age. Apparently, I don't look 1921. Nowadays, vampires have the luxury of being a vegetarian, if they want to. One word. Tea. An infusion created by essentially bleeding and brewing the leaves of certain plants. However, some modern vampires have a more traditional approach and prefer to have the real thing. In which case, you're going to need to learn how to hunt. Or if you're lazy, you can just go to your local blood bank. Think of it as the equivalent to mortal fast food. Is gross. You're a vampire, duh. I know it kind of goes without saying, but stay away from people with steaks. And if you're a vegetarian vampire, stay away from people with steaks. I'll let myself out. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helped. Bye!